if you deal with this type of valve in your plumbing, then you need one of these. This is a simple project born out of frustration with hard to turn PVC valves. In fact, the blue valve on the right is a replacement for one like the valve on the left because the handle broke off. You'll see what I mean. The blue valve turns easily by hand. That red one, however, is another story. I made the valve tamer to give me better leverage on the handles and reduce the chances of breaking the handle tabs off on those difficult valves. Here's how you can make one out of 3 quarter inch PVC fittings and pipe. You just need two end caps, a T, a straight coupler, and a few feet of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. You will also need some PVC primer and some PVC cement. A PVC pipe cutter helps, but if you don't have one, you can use a hacksaw instead. In fact, keep that hacksaw handy because you'll need it later. First, cut two short pieces of PVC pipe. I cut mine about one and a half inches long, but you can cut them longer if you want a longer handle. Next, push one of the short pieces into the end of the T, then push an end cap on. Repeat for the other side. There is no need to glue these pieces together unless you just want to. Now we have to cut a slot in the end of the straight coupler. Place the coupler over the top of the handle on a valve and mark the coupler where the slots need to be cut on both sides. If you don't have a valve handy for reference, you can mark the slots to be 3 8 of an inch wide. Continue the marks from the side onto the end. Put the coupler in a vise and use a hacksaw to cut down about 3 quarters of an inch on both sides. I used a Dremel tool to cut the tabs most of the way through so I could break them off, but you could use a utility knife and score it at the base of the tabs to break them off, or you could drill them out with a 3 8 inch drill bit. Check to make sure you have a good fit over the valve handle. Now it's time to make the shaft. It can be any length you want. The one you saw at the beginning of this video is about 4 feet long. You'll see why shortly. This one will be about 16 inches long. First prime the T and one end of the pipe. Give each piece a generous coat of PVC cement.
Press the pieces together and hold them firmly for about 10 seconds. Wipe off any excess cement. Repeat this for the straight coupler and the other end of the pipe. I recommend aligning the slots with the T-handle. That booger didn't want to go on. Again, hold the pieces in place for about 10 seconds to keep them from pushing apart. Now give it about two hours to fully cure and it will be ready to use. This is why I made one four feet long. It's great for letting you turn valves and valve boxes below ground, overhead, or in the wall in the back of a cabinet. So there you have it, a cheap, easy to make tool for taming those ornery PVC valves. If you enjoy these videos, please help me keep them coming by clicking the like button, commenting below, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.